Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your no repeat full body sculpt workout. In this workout, we are going to work your entire body for strength, cardio and mobility using our weight. So I'll be alternating between dumbbells and kettlebells. You use what you have available to you. If you have both, you can alternate. Otherwise, just use what you've got or keep it body weight. Of course, I'm gonna give you lots of options along the way to work to your fitness level. And good news, it's no repeat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Go ahead and let's start just with a quick warm up. We're just gonna march and roll those shoulders. We'll get a quick body weight mobility warm up, dynamic warm up to make sure that we are getting the blood flow when we get our body's core temperature up and we are moving in the ways that we're moving in this workout, moving our body before we add the load with those weights. Let's take it one at a time, one arm to the back. So we are getting it done today. Back up right through here. And we are gonna be working in blocks. So no timed intervals, like our 40 or 30 seconds. You don't have to worry about that. We'll be working in five minute blocks. And as we get further into this workout, they may even get a little shorter. I will let you know. So you don't have to worry about the clock. Let's step out to the side. I'm gonna take it into five minute intervals. And yes, that means we will have some muscle endurance sets so things might feel a little longer but as you know when we if you've done these five minute blocks as we before our time blocks they tend to go quicker than you think and again it is no repeat so once we are done with it we are done with it that does not mean let's take it up with our eyes y's and t's eyes y and out shoulder mobility t you can take it right through here or you can add a little hinge that does not mean that we aren't going to have any breaks. I promise, hinge if you want. We're gonna get breaks, you will get water, we'll get breaks even in those five minute blocks, but sometimes people hear blocks or longer muscle endurance sets and they think that we're never gonna get <laughs> any breaks. And that is not the case, I promise. Let's take it right through here, up and out. One more right here. Yes. Let's take it right here. We're gonna take it a little standing cat cow. Roll through your back, right through here. Whatever feels comfortable for you. And if you are able, we're gonna take our hands down to the ground. If that's not right for you, hands on your legs. And we're just gonna relax in the back and then little pedal of those hamstrings. So pushing the heel down, lifting the heel up. And if you can from here, we're gonna sit low into that squat. Hands on the ground again if you can, but otherwise hands can be here or on the wall, whatever you need, little side to side. I know, open up those hips and slowly bring it back up. Let's tap it back right here. So reach those arms up, opening up and through, stretching the upper body, dropping that back knee. It doesn't have to be a full lunge unless you want it to be. But let's hold this one here. If you can, we're gonna drop that knee a little forward and back into our hip flexor. You can tilt the hips forward if you wanna feel that a little more. If you need to keep this up, you can. And then if you can, hand down, reach it up. We're gonna rotate through for the spine. For three, two, and one. Let's switch your legs. You can either switch from the plank or switch from up top. Again, if it feels okay for you, drop to that knee, a little forward and back. Again, you don't have to really lean here. You can tuck your hips, bring those hips forward. You're gonna feel that a little bit more, right? And then let's take it right up here, reach up. Knee can be down or up. Yes. If you can, take it to that high plank, otherwise to those knees. And let's get a little child's pose. Up to all fours or up to the plank, up to you. You can go child's pose, all fours, or to the plank. Just a couple more, just to get the core warmed up and stretch your back. And then we are getting right into that first block. So as you can tell, your first block was five minutes of mobility, right? Go ahead and walk those hands back and walk it up right through here. 
All right, tap out and reach. All right, team, so we're gonna start with our dumbbells. I want you to go something a little heavier if you can. Think of what you can do a row or work your back with, and think of what you might do a deadlift or a plie squat with as well. All right, we're gonna get through it. Go ahead and bring those back. Let's finish out our block of mobility and cardio mobility right through here. And then we're gonna grab those dumbbells. Getting right into it. And as you can tell, that was a five minute block of mobility. And you didn't even notice it, right? It went fast. Grab those weights. Again, something a little heavier. Just to show you what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some versions of some bent over rows. We're gonna get some plie squats and then we will go from there. I'm gonna talk you through everything. Starting, I want you to watch me here. Roll those shoulders back. We're gonna be in that hinge position for a row. You know it, you love it. If you need to stagger, you can. And if you want, you can also come down on all fours. But let's start with our regular row. We're gonna mix it up as we go. Five minutes starts now. Bring those elbows up and drop them down in front. Right through here, core engaged. Yes, team. Right here. Flat back. Squeezing in your back. Let's get four more right here. Four. Three. Two. Good. Take them down in front. Come up out of that deadlift. Hinge it down. Right here up out of your deadlift, hinge it down. Yes, you can. So now we're giving your back a break, right? Take it here. Remember those weights stay close to the front of your legs. We're driving the hips to the back as if you're pushing the car door shut, right? Take it up and here. Back to that hinge, watch me. I'm gonna go up, up, down, and down. Keep it going, up, up, down, and down. Yes, I know it's a row, but it's no repeat because we are mixing it up, right? Up, up, down, and down. Keep it going, up, up, Two more. One more. Good, bring those feet to the front. One foot to the back, kickstand, bring it up. Hinge it forward. So it's a kickstand deadlift. If you want, single leg. If that's your jam, go for it. And down. Take your time, kickstand. It's still a hinge, but you've got that back leg either for a little bit of balance. We're right here. Switch your legs. So kickstand deadlift. Again, looks like this. It's still a hinge. It's not a lunge. Soft bend in both knees. You can also take it single leg, right? If your balance allows for that. And up. Right here, yes, team. We're about at that halfway mark. And breathe. one. Good. Catch your breath. Roll those shoulders back. We're going to reverse what we did with our row. So both elbows up, down, down, up, up. Here we go. Down, down, up, and up. I know. Down, down, up, and up. Down, down. Think of it like you would a plank press or a surrender where you'd go right, left, right, Left, then left, right. Yes, you should be feeling that back working hard. Don't forget to pull those shoulder blades in. Yes, yes, squeeze, squeeze. The one that's at the top maintains that squeeze. Two more. Yes, team, I know. Good, take it right here. Plie squat, bring it up nice and slow. We're going slow. And up, yes, down, squeeze it up. As you come up, I want you to think about that deep core, right? Take it here, squeeze it up, down, 
and up. Breathe. Yes, you can. Watch me here. I'm gonna put that right heel up, if this is okay with you, down. And up. One side, heel stay up. If you start to cramp, just take it down or just lift at the bottom. Breathe, four minutes in, one to go. Four, three, yes. Two, switch, right here, right up. So again, if it might be a little shaky, that's okay. We're working that calf, we're making those inner thighs work a little harder, but I don't want you to cramp up. So you can always have it down. Three, two, one. Here we go, we're just gonna march. 15 seconds, that's all we got, right? Shake it out, weighted march. So I want you to think about that core working hard. I know, four, three, two, and one. Set those weights down, first five minutes down. Now, stretch that out through your hamstrings, stretch that out through your back, I know. It was a lot in that hinge pattern. That was intentional. So we knew we could get everything in the back of the body working together. All right, so now we're gonna do that on our back. So everything that we do, I'm gonna give you a modification of a standing version or a seated version if that is better for you. Or you can take it to a bridge if you're in the pregnancy phase and you need to lift up. Otherwise, join me down here. We're gonna take it with, if you've got it, one heavy kettlebell right in the center. Join me down on the mat. This is our second five minutes. We're gonna start with just a regular press. If you wanna take it seated or standing, that works too. Otherwise, join me right down here. Core engaged, I want you to tuck that pelvis. Remember, if you need to be in the bridge, you can. Let's go ahead and get set. Elbows are in nice and tight. You're pressing up right through the center in three, two, one. Here we go. Straight up and down right here. Take it up and down. So remember we worked the back of the body. Now we're working the front of the body, right? So as you're pressing up, I want you to think about those elbows coming right by your side. Chest and shoulders are working hard. But we, of course, are also getting those triceps. Breathe. Watch me right here. I'm going up, little bend, up and down. If you don't feel comfortable with that, with that kettlebell, maybe you've got something heavier or you don't feel like you have a steady of a grip, here's what I want. I want you to just come up, hold, press in and down. Press into that kettlebell right here. You're gonna feel those arms, right? Up, breathe, yes. Four more, right here. Four, that's one minute. Three, two, last one. All right, team, so you have an option here. You can keep holding that kettlebell. If your arms need a break, I want you to set that weight down. Remember this workout is all about showing up. So we're coming here, we're gonna do a little toe tap. If that is not right for you, I want you to lift in the bridge and down. Or you can just do a standing march like we just did with our weights. Right, toe tap, weight up top. If that feels okay for you, you can extend the leg out nice and slow, right? And breathe. So we got chest, yeah, we got triceps, that's the back of the body, right? We got chest and shoulders. Now we're getting that core right in the front. Can you think about that deep core? What is that deep core doing? Two minutes down, and breathe. If you want, lift the shoulders, keep the legs going out. You're just holding at the top, right? So again, you can also do this seated, just bringing those knees up, but you're lifting the shoulders, wrapping the core. We got four. Three, two, if you can, hold them both out, right? Hold it up, you can go over just a bit if you're comfortable with that, or keep it right up top. Hollow hold for four, three, 
two, and one. Relax it down, good. Turn over onto your side, really core heavy here. We are gonna lift up in that side plank. Watch me right here. We're gonna go up. We're gonna scoop it down, that's all we got. Join me, here we go. Up, three minutes, and down. Take it up, and down. If you need to be on that knee, that's always an option too. Yes, team, two more is all we need. Let's hold at the top. Breathe. We've got four, three, two, and one. I want you to swing those legs around to that other side. We're going same thing. Remember, you can be on your knees or up. Here we go. Take it up. Scoop it down, slow and controlled. Up and down. Yes. And breathe. Boom. One more, wherever you are, knees are up. Remember, this is your workout. Be where you are today, just holding for four, three, two, and one. I want you to come on your knees. If this is right for you, we're just gonna be on your knees or standing, we've got biceps. Otherwise, we're gonna go biceps for two. Step it up, step it down, right here. Biceps for two, hold it up, 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 down, down. If that is not where you wanna be, you just keep the biceps or you take it standing and you add a squat. That works too. Up for two, up, up. Yes, you can, team. One more. Up. And then I want you to take it up. I want you to hold it here. Hold it out. You've got 10 seconds. That's not right for you. Pick one. Hold the squat. Hold the curl. We got four, three, two, and one. Yes, team. Shake it out. Remember, if it is hard, it is because whoo, you are working Hard, catch your breath. Woo, I know, feeling it too. All right, team, you know what? Since we got that kettlebell out, why don't we do a kettlebell swing? Don't worry about your timed intervals. We're gonna get it done. We've already prepped with that deadlift. So that deadlift we did in that first round. If you wanna keep it right here, you can. Otherwise, little 30 second swing. Remember your swing, you're gonna drive it up, lock it out, let it drop. Lock it out, let it drop. Lock out in the core, hamstrings, glutes. 30 is all we need. Eyes up, shoulders back, prep it. Three, two, deadlift or swing. Here we go. Drop it up. If you feel like you wanna lift with your arms, that kettlebell might be too light. You might need two dumbbells and a skier swing. That's also an option, or one dumbbell in the center. Drive it up, let it drop. Yes. Team, push into those heels. Lock out at the top, lift up in that core, up and in. Yes. We got four, three, two, one, and relax. Pedal your feet. Get a quick sip of water. Back to those dumbbells, team. I know. All right. Remember when I said those intervals might get quicker? How about we go four minutes, team? Let's do it. So we got four minutes. I want you to have something medium. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna start with a version of a lunge. Then we're gonna go reverse fly, but one side only. Then we'll add a little in between. So starting with your lunge, I want you to go forward into it. Here's what I want. I want you to go down, halfway up, push it out. So it is a one and a half lunge. Forward if you can. If the forward does not feel good for you or your knees, you can do a reverse halfway up and up, one and a half, or you can just take it to a little tap back or stationary. But one side, starting here, one and a half lunge, five minutes, starts now. Four minutes, didn't I say four? Yes, here we go. Down to four, halfway up, and up. Down, halfway up. Remember this workout, and everything that we do, it is all about showing up where you are today. So, if getting that low 
is not right for you, keep it a little higher. You pick your pace. You do not have to go the same as me. Breathe. You can go slower. You can go faster as long as you have good form. One more. Good. I want you to hold it here. Hold it in that lunge. We're going to hinge it forward. The one on the outside is going to stay put. This one. Here we go. Out and in. It's a reverse fly. Now, if that is not right for you, I want you to stagger if that leg needs a break. If you want to get a little lower in that lunge, I love it, but it's up to you. Breathe right here. We've got four, three, two, one. I want you to step it up. Remember what leg that is. For me, it's my right. Let's take it right here. I'm going bicep curl. Take it down, slow and controlled. If you got something a little heavier, you can always alternate up. There's that heart rate. I know, feel it too. And breathe. Take it here. Take it up. Together. If you want. Yes. Halfway down. Watch me. Out and in. If you've got something heavy, which you might, one at a time, or just hold. You can take it isometric. Four, three, squeeze, two, one. Take them down. Little tap, little breather. I told you we get some breathers. We're halfway there. Two minutes to go. Forward lunge. Halfway up, step it out. Or regular lunge, tap back. Whatever you need for where you are today. Here we go. Take it down. Halfway up. Drive it back. Slow and controlled. Get low. Halfway up. And here. I know. Down. Halfway up. Breathe. Half. Keep it going. Take your time. Really push out of that heel. Shoulders back. I know. Right here. Yes. Team. And breathe. Last one. Hold it here. Remember, we're going to stay put. Low if you can. Out and in. Out. Good. This one's staying in place. So remember, we're trying to steady with our core, right? Three. I know. Two. One. Right here. Rack them up. Shoulders. Yes. One at a time. Woo. Breathe. Ha. Both legs working. Yes. All right. Can we squat it down? Three, two, one. Power press. Three, two, one. And up. If that's not right for you, I just want you to go slow. Squat or just your press. Keep alternating. You pick. Three, two, one. Hand up. Three, two, one. Two more. Last one. Yes, team. Catch your breath. I know. Woo. Set those to the side. I know. I feel that a lot, right? How about we do one more swing? You pick. If that heart rate's really high, you want to just do your deadlift with dumbbells or kettlebell, or you want to join me for the swing. We've got one last round, and it's only three minutes. Told you we get last time as we went on. So shoulders back. Give yourself a couple deadlifts, a couple hinges if you need to get a feel for that. We got 30 seconds. Join me here, core engaged. Hinge it back, three, two, deadlift or swing. Here we go. Power up, let it drop. I know it's no repeat, but if you've been around a while, you know, I like to put a couple swings if we get them. So what, we're gonna make it no repeat if you want in this swing, hand it off. If you're comfortable with a swing handoff, don't try it if you've never done it before. But right here, hand off. Power up. Yes, team. Boom. Or regular, whatever you got. Three, two, one. And relax. Yes. Catch your breath, team. 
one more on the mat. Let's get it done. All right, team, you got a dumbbell, one heavy dumbbell. Whew. We are taking it over your head and some triceps. So watch me, we're here, we're going behind the head and up. If it feels better for you to go here or just to be seated or standing, that works too. Three minutes is all we need. We're going over the head with tries, we'll add a little extra, then we'll finish down on the mat. So right here, hands behind the head, down and up right here. Now what I want you to think about is that core engagement, right? What's happening with your ribs? Do you feel like those ribs are pushing out? I want you to think about pulling them in. Rib flare, button it up. Are your rib cage, is your ribs stacked right above your hip bones? Pull all of that in. You should feel your core turn on when you feel that. Take it down and up. Breathe. Four more, yes, triceps. Four, three, two, good. Hold it at your chest. We're gonna sit low. Squeeze it up. Yes, you can. If that's not right for you, you can take it just seated and breathe. Core engage. And up. We've got four. Squeeze. Three. Two. One more. Yes, you can, team. I want you to bring it right here on all fours. Extend that opposite leg, opposite leg, opposite arm. We're gonna lift and lower, not very long. And breathe, squeeze. If that's too much, just do the row or take it standing. Halfway there, a minute and a half to go. Hold it at the top. Squeeze in your back muscles. Squeeze all the way down through the leg. Pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Drop that weight down. I want you to lift the knee up right here. Watch me. If that's not right for you, I just want you to drop the knee and do it. But if you can, it's a little elevator. So that foot stays on the ground. That hand right here. Elevator. We've got four. Tuck it in. Three, two, one. Switch your sides right here. Opposite leg, opposite arm. Here we go, bring it up. And down, last minute. Yes. Breathe. Up. up. Three, two, hold it at the top. Hold, find that good hole. Hips are square, pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, elevator, lift it up. So you can also keep that toe down if you need to, like I just did, if you want that toe down or knee down. But if you can, elevator, bring it all the way up using your core. Yes. Boom. Guess what, team? Stretch it back. You did it, I know. You know what? I think we need one quick bonus move. Guess what? We're gonna keep it down below and we're gonna keep it at 30 seconds. You know I love a climber, but how about a traveling climber? Walk those hands up, walk those hands back. If that is not right for you, take it bird dog or standing climber. 30 seconds, travel up with your hands, travel back. Just your hands are moving. You can do it. Show up in a way that's good for you. Here we go. Run it or tap it and then walk those hands forward for four, back for four. If you don't love that, I don't either, but you can just do a climber or you can just do a plank walk. Extended plank, right? Yes, 10 seconds to go, this is it, team. Woo! Yes, five, four, three, two, and stretch. Sit back into that stretch. I know, team. Woo, hip side to side. As always, if you want to add an extra swing at the end of this workout, you can, but you don't have to. We got it done. We're going to keep this cool down pretty short. 
to get you out of here, so make sure you get some more stretching on your own. Press those shoulders down. Come up to standing. If you want a little hip flexor quad stretch, take it right here. If that's not right, take it up standing. Let's take one arm across. Roll that hand, yes. Listen, make sure you leave me a comment. Leave me a like, let me know. How did you feel with this workout? Let's get same thing other side. Take it here. Are you feeling strong? I hope you are. Did you feel challenged? I told you those four and five and three minute intervals would go fast, right? Did you feel that? I hope so. Come up to standing. Pedal those feet again. If you can have your hands here on the wall or right through here, let me know. Do you prefer intervals? That's okay too. But, did it go faster than you thought? I hope so. Let's take it right here, big stretch right through here. So leave me a comment, leave me a like, and of course, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That helps me reach more people, get more people moving in a way that's good for them. Remember, it is all about showing up. Show up, keep moving, that is my motto. If you showed up today, you are successful. That is all that matters. Reach behind if you can. Whether it felt hard, whether it felt challenging. Remember, if it's hard, it's because you're working hard. It's hard because you are doing it, not because you can't. And I am so proud of you for being here today. Roll those wrists, roll those knees and hips. Get some more stretching on your own. Check us out over in the Body Fit Athletic Club if you're not there already. And let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your no repeat full body sculpt workout. Great job, everybody.